morning, everyone. We're going to start by singing Victory in Jesus, page 243 in the Dark Red Songbook. Dark Red Songbook. Page 243. Black one. I mean, red one. Dark red.
Friday afternoon or Saturday to noon, the cost fifty dollars. If you sent in the ten registration fee by March fourth, uh, you'll only and then uh, fifty five uh, upon arrival. Lodging available for twenty five per person. On fire, not in slap. I don't uh, keep reading the book of Revelation. Tell me when you're finished, then we might find another book that we'll read. And then the prayer request for church members and their families, and recovery for those that are sick with COVID 19, and comfort for the family. And also our president, and then the Navajo Nation presidents and leaders, and pray for a revival in America, in, in our country, in our land. And I think it's a time that we uh, just get some things uh, in order. According to Luke 19 is where we'll be this morning. And uh, And that's going to be our uh, main uh, reading, okay, 19, verse number 1, And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, I guess Republicans too, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press. He always again traveled with the press too, because he was a little a statue. And he ran before and climbed up into the sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying, that he was going to a guest to be a guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, half of my goods will I give to the poor. And if I have taken my anything from any man by false accusation, I will restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation. Come to this house, for so much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Let's pray, Heavenly Father. We thank you again for your word. We need help from heaven. 
we need your spirit, we need your uh, word to uh, help our hearts to see something that will help us cleanse our hearts from sin, cleanse our uh, just uh, not uh, being ready, not being uh, sure, not being in it. And we pray we help for that. We well, thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Zacchaeus and the host came late to Bahamnetla. Of course, Jesus, a Yahiana, Ado, Ia, a quench in the Yana Jericho, one there. Ah, what a what a ya, Pancho, Kiss in the Viva. A cohorty corner. And you know the word and is a conjunction word. It, it separates what's going on before. Something precedes this word and. And, and you know, a lot of times we might say and in, in our reading never uh, pay attention to it but here in this case I actually uh, you, you got to have a reason for and yeah you know God didn't just put he could just say Jesus enter and pass through Jericho and it'll, it'll, it'll be understandable but why and mm. And so there, there's something going on before that, yeah. Something's happening before uh, uh, Jesus was to pass through. Yeah. So that's the reason he said, and yep. whatever is happening in your life, whatever you're doing, uh, or whatever you're feeling this morning, you know uh, Jesus is going to pass, enter. He's going to enter, yeah. And he might just pass through to Joti Kwe Adon Ado Ha Ishman Ado Dole. So Jesus said, I don't buy yet. Jesus said, Nia Ado Jericho, go to Nia. Hard Ishman Nai Ado Jesho had Ishiban Al Dehi a belt. Hard Ishiban to Kreki Ado Jesus said, Nia Hania. Joko Ebony na kuwa ishipana na ishipanda kiko. Joko cheese to grass ya. Ado cheese ta ocho to grass. Joko eki e ba no se chapeli ya. He's he's coming. Oh, you let him pass. Uh, you know there was a time. Uh, there was uh, I was uh, preaching at uh, Preston Mesa. Uh, and then I will preach it on Jesus of Nazareth passeth by probably out of Luke or Matthew and uh, I said Jesus is coming Jesus has come and he's going to come by uh, are you going to be saved are you going to uh, believe are you going to uh, do what he's trying to tell you you know, that's when the brother that, that we used to come to church got saved. And uh, he, he was just crying. He said, I, I need to uh, believe him. And uh, so he, he got saved that day. You know, Jesus is coming. Out where you are, wherever you're listening, Jesus has come to a corner. And before that end, something is happening. So we're looking at Luke, Lord, Luke, Luke chapter 14, and then uh, verse number 17, Lord, 14, 17. Notice, and, and he sent his servant. And there's that word again, and, yeah. And uh, before that, there was supper taking place. And he sent his servant, servant at supper time to say to them that were bitten 
you know, people are bitten. You know, Jesus isn't just coming. He is uh, inviting people to come to him. Uh, he's inviting people to uh, have some fellowship time, yeah. And yeah, he's coming. Uh, to them that were bitten, come for all things are ready. You know, that's the truth. You know, things are ready. You know, he came, he died. He rose again, went back to heaven, a light, a light on the mercy seat of heaven. You know, salvation is complete. Some of you that are still working to get your salvation, hey, it's complete. Uh, he so, so he said, all things are ready. So that's why he said, come, come. And those verse 18 says, verse 18, and they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of land, yeah. Piece of ground, in other words, a piece of land. <clears throat> Somebody is worried about their land, yeah. You're worried about your crazy permit. You're worried about who might take your land. You're worried about something on your land, yeah. You know, we worry about our lands. Yeah. Going down the whole Hopi land dispute uh, still going on for many years and still going on. People are just fussing about that. Hey, Jesus has come. Jesus has come and, uh, and uh, what are you going to do with that? Jesus, Jesus, Oshitnosnea Verse 19, and another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them, and I pray thee have me excuse. You know, that's the, the main vehicle back in the, uh, over 2,000 years ago, yeah. But now it's your yoke. Your, your big vehicle, yeah. Your uh, big V V8 uh, uh, truck, or uh, maybe your uh, Camaro, yeah. You like to prove that thing and see how it runs. I don't want to have any excuse. I got to check this out and see if it'll uh, drive around a little bit. So a uh, man is worried about the. What they ride, yeah. Maybe they bought a tractor, yeah. A uh, tractor, they said, should not, not, they said, I ain't been the nest. What should not be a good up, big crash, he ain't done so in there. Took a day chitter. Oh, even in night, or saying that Jesus, even the grass, yeah, hot out. He won't let Jesus go. He came, he's gone past. Verse number 20, and another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. It might be good, yeah. You know, it got to have some balance, yeah. Yes, you can have a wife and be in church too. You can have a wife and have a family and come to church. Uh, so, uh, why not come to church with them and rather go uh, have a good time with your wife eating out and uh, going fishing or going hunting and uh, many other things that uh, husband and wives do, yeah. Sure, it's good to do those things, but you need to have some balance. Why not come to church and get saved or something? And uh, so, you know, these people... 
are so the lives are so tied up with a whole lot of activities, yeah, and then they leave out the most important thing in their lives, which is Jesus Christ. Ojo Hello so you know, hey, that word "and" tells us there's something going on before that, yeah. And look at uh, the same uh, verse back in uh, Luke, yeah, Luke 19 and verse number one. And Jesus entered. Né? Jesus, Yahya. You know, Jesus came here this morning, yeah. He came because you came. You know, Jesus came and uh, an example is a fair track distribution. You know, fair that uh, not sauce. He started there, yeah, and then he not ate. He don't Jesus, yeah. Oh, sorry, I don't know what they used to eat. Uh, after the fair, you find a lot of these uh, basketball tracks that we uh, gave out, uh, floating around, blowing around. After the fair, yeah. They let Jesus. Go by, a cheese near. I don't the swap me, none of God, but out of tracks at another eat la. A cohort or your another eat three cheese, I said, out of the Oscar. Jeez, a near. A cohort or niece. None of funerals, say your and net and none of Jesus by her net. You know, I have seen uh, people get saved at funerals. Uh, to the city, there's a lady uh, was saying that is there anyone here this morning that does not know the Lord? I said, in your heart right now, I said, if you really mean it, I want you to uh, believe that he died for you, he rose again and uh, uh, paid for your sins and you are a sinner. And would you pray? Something like this, and so I prayed, and uh, probably a couple of years later, I actually met a lady, and she said, I got saved that day when you uh, gave us that instruction at the funeral in Tuba City. This was actually at the graveyard, no, not in church, at the graveyard. And so funerals can uh, have some people get saved. And then Christmas services, yeah. Christmas services. And that's that. I remember that on Christmas they were packed. And uh, later he said, I came to your church, but I uh, had no place to sit. And uh, so I left, he said. So I don't know if he got saved. I, I remember that he, he stopped drinking on, on his own uh, because of Jesus. And uh, so, you know, uh, things can happen. Thanksgiving services. Uh, he started, uh, 
Ain't nothing in him later. Oh, Jesus, ain't he? Yeah. Ado yo as ne hun, the nebuching at that. Jesus, ain't he? Yeah, quap, Jesus, bahun, let Jesus with my heart see. Ado Christmas when he hit a day with Ahanan at a Jesus bahun. Oh, what ado let, but that's untadole. Here has son band as they who are on the nana can't meet the door. Is it all ye? As aunt, oh, not a ah, a poor Jesus, me ya. A co a high lad or less. What's going to happen? You know, Jesus is uh, actually uh, seeking men. Of course, look at uh, verse number 10 again. It says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. And then verse number 3. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was. Isn't it good to know who he was, who he is? And could not for the press, because he was little of statue. You know, when you're small, you, you know, you ever been to a, a big meeting or a, a big, uh, maybe graduation. I remember graduation. I think it was a, at the football field, and here be a guy with a broad shoulder and pretty tall sitting in front of you. Blocking your view. Every time you try to look, it'll be moving that way. Every time he might be raising his hand or even standing in front of it. So, uh, you know, this guy had trouble. He's trying to see where it is. I want to know him. But hey, you can know him. It does not matter what is in your way. There are things that can get in the way. There are things that can block you off. There can, uh, can be things that they're always going to get block your line of vision, and, uh, and uh, and then it says, verse 4, And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was to pass that way. You know, if you don't get it the first time, hey, run. Catch up with, with the, the, the crew that's uh, presenting the message here. Yeah, and ask them. You know, one time, one lady here in church, I've uh, been in church for four, four months. And then after we closed the services and uh, we were about to, all were leaving. And uh, comes up to me and say. So what do I do to get saved? Mm -hmm. So that person didn't stop, heard the message, uh, didn't come to the altar, but, but wanted to know how, what did I do? And that's a good way to put it. And then that person got saved. Totally you know, uh, Jesus is seeking for those that are lost in sin, self, world, and Satan, yeah. We're lost. That's what God said, lost. If you don't go to church, you're lost. If you have not been saved, you're lost. The Bible says, for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made 
the righteousness of God in him. You know, Jesus died because of our sins. Jesus paid the price because of our sin. He was made sin for us so the righteousness of God can be passed upon us. They'll be ours. Imputed is in the Romans chapter 4. Uh, God wants to put it in you. The righteousness of His uh, is going to be clothed uh, in you. You know, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, the Bible says. You know, that is uh, something, you know, people uh, claim that you can be saved by just having somebody lay their hands upon your hand, your head. You know, my hand won't do any good. Even my prayer wouldn't do any good. You have to pray, y'all. Uh, and uh, he was buried and that uh, he arose the third day according to the scriptures I'm reading out of 1st uh, Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. <laughs> If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Uh, Romans 10 and verse 9. And you have to want to. Jesus and not eight on this Matthew twenty and verse thirty. Twenty verse thirty. And be, behold two blind men sitting by the wayside. When they heard that Jesus passed by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. You know, the blind man just heard that uh, there's a, a person, there's a Savior coming, his name is Jesus, he's going to pass by. When he heard the footstep, they said, Have mercy on us. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Thou son of David, have mercy on us. You know, he has mercy, y'all. Our honors and corn never not that they secure. Jesus say, are they in God of the need? Are they see what the God needs up? David cried out. I mean, uh, the person said, Have mercy on me. I don't see you, but I hear you. I, I want you. I want you to say, you know, after that, the guy began to see. Maybe that's what we need this morning. You know what a day it is uh, for a man to get saved. You know the second part of this morning's uh, main uh, thought uh, from that verse is, uh, you know, it's going to be fellowship. For you saved is fellowship. Why would Jesus enter India? Jesus India you had all God. I don't have to spend the night or not or that. So if you sit there, well, yeah. If you sit there, you know, hey, I'm going to have to get out. We're here together. And we're going to just encourage each other. 
But what we say in Sunday school, yeah, maybe we need this, maybe we need to do this. You know, that's encouraging. Maybe somebody is uh, healing. Uh, we encourage each other. Fellowship. Look at verse uh, back in uh, Luke uh, 19, verse number 5. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste. In other words, hurry up and come down. For today I must abide at thy house. You know, Jesus, you know, fellowship is like that. When you come to know the Lord, He is with you. When you backslide, you're going to lose Him. You lose contact. Just like when you do, when you leave your parents. You know, that we used to watch our grandchildren from the our house and they would they they would keep running down and down because of the problem, because of the gravity. They rather go the way it's easy so they'll keep getting the way further and further. So they say, Hey, come back and then they'll pull well, out this and keep going. And there's a highway right there. There's uh, people that don't uh, care how they drive, they'll be driving. So we have to be careful for that. You know, this year, Jesus said, I'm coming down to your house. Harry, for other day, I must abide at thy house. That's what it is. He, he abides at your house. Of course, the key is, hey, it's just over now to be caught by us. Now, hey, Jesus, I don't know that. It's a son that Hako had in his tree, or stand on the gate. Now, I go to a shash of art. A chicken is not all this, as Nila. Joe, I don't fellowship. Jesus, a yak attend to Yaskia. Even your God was out at each that girl. He wants to fellowship with you. You know that I've been thinking about a message out of Isaiah. I think I'm kind of losing thought on that. I was, you know, Isaiah had people that knew God that were there's so much in sin. And they have not excuse that were they were given. Look at Isaiah 118. Come now. You know the Lord saying, Come now. You know all the pitiful condition that he was talking about from verse one on on over. But even then, the Lord said, Come now and let us reason together, say the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, yet they shall be white as snow. They, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Hi, is. They has at his knees, born knee, and sneed up. The bark it ate over hats of the cheek. I don't under. The great God of the knees, he has not had the God of the knees. I just is a cheat. The last grain had no door knees. Fellowship on Sunday is good, you know, that you that compose the 
all the preaching. And that's where to number the Lord said, where two or three are gathered together, there I am in their midst. So it's just two to get the Lord to come visit us. And this Sunday morning he came, and uh, that's a day that he likes to visit you. Other I see blood in the second Corinthians five twenty. And that's what I'm looking for. If you got your outline you should be headed that way. Five twenty. Now we are ambassadors for Christ. You are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. You know, we just need to, to have a little uh, change among us, yeah. Uh, that's all it needs, a little bit of a uh, transient. I like Revelation 3.20. I used to think on that uh, when I was a young in the Lord. And uh, I have a, a preaching on salvation because of this verse, but I believe this is more uh, in fellowship than salvation. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. He wants to have time together, yeah. To eat, né? you can have the word of God, share the word of God with the Lord, yeah. And that's fellowship. Well, you know, it's good to have the, the Word of God for our communication, yeah. Let me give you uh, out of Second Samuel. You know, I like uh, the story here, Second Samuel. I think I preached that one time here at Cedar Ridge. But the Second Samuel 9, verse number 1 through 8, I think I'll just go ahead and read all of that. And David says, Is there yet any that is left of the house of Saul, that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And there was of the house of Saul a servant whose name was Ziba. And when he had called him unto David, the king said unto him, Art thou Ziba? And he said, Thy servant is here. And the king said, Is there not yet uh, any of the house of Saul that I may show, show the kindness of God unto him. And Ziba said unto the king, Jonathan had yet a son which is lame in his feet. Lame. A cripple. That's all we were before we got saved. Mm. We were crippled by sin. And that's why I say, and the king said unto him, Where is he? 
And Ziba said unto the king, Behold, he is in the house of Makar, the son of Emilio, and Lord Abar. Then King David sent and fetched him out of the house of Makar, the son of Emil from Lodabar. Now when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, was come unto David, he fell on his face and did reverence. And David said, Mephibosheth, and he answered, Behold thy servant. And David said unto him, Fear not, for I will surely show kindness for Jonathan thy father's sake, and will restore thee all the land of Saul thy father, and thou shalt eat bread at my table continually. Notice that, continually. Mm -hmm. And he bowed himself and said, What is thy servant that thou shouldest look upon such a dead dog as I am? Sounds like Navu Navu Yashio Eho the Donja. Jati Kwan that David Aya Kwan Jonathan Bartson does that a hit the no night as Kitla Ape Evitation is Lila. Ne eight salmon at all, Ador Satnam, Azibaj or Yon, the eight eight Hakovers, the eight Asian and a bit on the old in the Ador and not on the business at the heights, the eight salmon at all. A yacht a party, sneeze, Lila, the Ziba and the old Jonathan begins a hono. A con the inner jeep and the Nila. I'll あの、テーブルやね、やね、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト、テスト
they don't feel like being a child of God. Yet he wants to fellowship with you. Just that I need to know the bonds to the people that are bonded in this. But now, just see the 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 coins that has to be taken. But it's also to lose. Just what any such a yeah yeah. あ、こう、こう、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
I say early in my Christian life also I I, I came across that and uh, I used to think on that and uh, you know that's a help you know uh, verses that are written there helps you by faith he forsook Egypt not fearing the wrath of the king for he endured why? As seeing him who is invisible in the eye. You know, that's the reason we're here. Quite a need that ought not be Egypt, but charge for it. Hadria. And not only by a hot chin, the door better, the door. Of course, open hot chin, no. A cohorty to it in the key, age on all, and in Nazana. Even in our church today, Kaya, you see him. You know, Bible reading is good, prayer is good, going to church, witnessing is good. You know, you get to know him more and more. And uh, so I hope that's what you're doing. But, but, you know, even in churches, Jesus entered and he may just pass, yeah. Jesus entered, yeah. In this message, I don't know if I should know you. Jesus entered, yeah. In the message that I'm giving you, he came, he entered, and he may just pass through your area and gone. You will forget. So, how about reading Mark 5 6 5? Mark 6 5, and he could not do no mighty work save that he laid his hand upon a few sick folk and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went round about the villages teaching. Nothing happening because they don't believe him. Is that your case? A quarter corner. A yacht out and on the shiki out of Sanaji Clada. Other quick get at the name of the Tatan and Screen Tatsi. I would always ever say, Hi, you daughter out loud and in none. Out of a non hundred net. Nila Nada all on Nila Hots and Ahas at all things. Well, that's our quarter. Ah, what the thing is that as a banat, the platana, the tea tas. Let's look at some verses here. Acts seventeen thirty two, don't this, it will skip. Skip uh, some verses there. Seventeen thirty-two, and when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mock, and others said, "We will hear thee again of this matter." So Paul departed from among them. No more message. Mm. You know, people leave. They, they say, "Hey." We will hear you again and make fun of him about Jesus uh, coming back from the dead. I hope you're not doing this. And then go to Genesis 28 and verse 16. 
Genesis 28, you know, the J Jacob ran away from his problem. And uh, he, put, he thought he got away. But you know, there's somebody that's close by. Uh, 28, uh, verse 16. On age 16, and Jacob awake out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And Moses, and I knew it not. You may one day realize that the Lord was at Cedar Ridge. You know, you may not. One day realized that the Lord was uh, coming through the air, and you didn't pay enough attention. Yeah, you didn't make enough changes. You didn't make uh, enough uh, fellowship with Him. It's going to be passed. He's going to pass through, and that's what uh, Jacob had been missing. He said he ran away from his trouble and here he was by himself asleep and made a pillow from a rock and uh, and then uh, he realized God was here. Jesus was here. And that's where he worshiped. And I pray that you will do the same. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you again for the morning. We pray for help and blessing. That uh, we're not saved, we need to be saved. We we're uh, saved and hear the message you, you have entered. And we may just pass by again, go pass through again, through our area. We pray that you would uh, help us to have a good fellowship uh, this Sunday morning and evening. For we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to end this church, church service by singing Saved by Grace, page 62, in the dark red song book. Page 62, uh, 62 Saved by Grace. <laughs>